I've had to die 132 times to get to this point. No, I'm not even set up hard mode yet. Hello everyone and welcome to part 2 of Legendary Mode Terraria. There's a lot that's happening inside of this episode so make sure to stay tuned and watch all the way through. And remember, enjoy. So very quickly into the recording, uh, a blood moon happened, that was fun. There's no surprise whenever I say that I died often. Anyways, my goal at the time was to build a base instead of the snow biome because I thought that'd be kind of nice to have so that way I could use more pylons. Then I explored a little bit of the ice bar and trying to get the ice blade, just so I have a little bit of a step up from my last sword. And I'm telling you, this stupid little sword made me feel powerful. Then I decided to expand my exploration by going into the jungle that I found last episode, and starting to very carefully build a house. And yeah, house done. You may be thinking, why go to the jungle? Why go through all this pain? You see, I'm trying to get the blade of grass, because I want to get the knight's edge, because that's because because it looks cool and new and quirky, and I want it. And I got it. The blade of grass. We're not going to talk about how long this took, or why an entire chunk of the map's gone now. I'm telling you, I felt very powerful with this weapon. This weapon felt great, and I was feeling bold and confident, so I decided that I could kill the Eye of Cthulhu. But before I attempted anything, I decided to mine some demonite so I could get the Light's Bane. Then I challenged the big girthy eyeball. The first stage was a breeze, but instead of a second stage, he had this weird tendency to just spew out like hundreds of eyeballs for zero reason, and then I died. But in round two, I killed him easily. I had Cthulhu defeated. For some odd reason, I decided to try to go for the brain of Cthulhu next. And after I set up an arena and attempted to fight the brain, it didn't really do too well. But I did manage to barely get enough tissue to make the pickaxe, so that was pretty cool. Oh, also, did I mention that I got this really, really long tunnel because I really wanted to see the shimmer? Yeah, I did that. The shimmer is pretty cool, by the way. Now, this may look kind of bad because you see a Muramasa in my inventory. Yet, I haven't beaten Skeletron. As a matter of fact, I haven't even touched on the subject of, of, of Skeletron. So how did I get this? Well, you see, from this very well thought out drawing here, I can perfectly explain how I got this Muramasa. This is the dungeon. It's a little bit weird because it's inside of a tree, but don't worry about that because the old man lived in this little area and I broke one of the vases and there was a key, a golden key, and then there was a ch chest, a golden lock chest, and I opened up the chest and what bam Muramasa came out, but I wasn't recording. Please forgive me. And yeah, that's how I made the Knight's Edge. Anyways, with the Knight's Edge, I bullied Dia Cthulhu for a second and got some molten armor finally. I also built this really cool sky bridge above the corrupted surface so that way I could easily get to my dungeon whenever I felt like it. All of this took me nine hours to do. My soul is slowly crushing itself. Anyways, I decided that it was time to finally beat Skeletron instead of putting it off like I've been doing, which meant also mining out an arena, which sounds super fun and that's pretty boring so yeah here it is let's hope it's big enough i summoned skeletron and then i kind of realized that he's actually taking quite a bit of damage and i died but it's okay i'll just fight him again but i died and personally i cannot take this level of disrespect from any creature to any means so i decided to play big brain time and upgrade my arena as much as i can i took my chemistry table and turned it into a bewitching table i added every single thing i could think of i got all the potions i could ever use and then i fought him again yet i still managed to get backhanded by this guy at one point he killed me whenever he was just barely alive and I was about to have a panic attack. I decided to give myself one more chance. He was so low, all I had to do was not screw it up again. And finally I killed Skeletron. I was very happy with this victory and decided to just run into the dungeon because why not. I got, I got all the cool stuff and then died. I found the bubble launcher inside of the dungeon so I decided to go out and kill some people with my favorite weapon. I'm, I'm telling you this gun's insane gotta try it. I wonder if I could actually be Terraria with it. Hmm. And before I end this video, I just want to thank everybody for the recent views and likes on all the videos. Also, can we hit 200 subscribers? Because like, we're 40 away. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, subscribe and like the video, please. And comment something funny if you got to the very end. And to the next video, goodbye.